first thing I'll be doing is sampling zooplankton. And zooplankton be a, they're a group of invertebrates that feed primarily on the algae. Some of them will feed on one another predators, but uh, it's essentially the second rung of the food web here in, in a lake. And what we're using is this plankton trap that as you lower it into the water, the water pushes the bottom up and the top up. So you're just lowering it down. When you stop, they both fall and trap whatever's in this volume of water. And as you bring it up to the surface, you filter it through this fine mesh net and then preserve what's in the, in the bottom of this. And so that what we've seen in this lake back in, the, back in the 80s when we first started sampling, it was a very simple community. There were lots of zooplankton in here, but it was very simple, just uh, three or four species through the year. Whereas now we're seeing as many as through the year, uh, 14 species, uh, maybe eight or ten of them that are common. So it's a much more diverse community. It's not necessarily more abundant, but it's more diverse, different species yeah. that have come in. And that's one of the signs and one of the big impacts of acidification is that it reduces diversity in almost every community. Whether it's the algae, you get fewer algae species, you get fewer zooplankton species, fewer fish. And, uh, and that simplifies the community, makes it even more susceptible to perturbations. So, I have to do that over here. One of the interesting organisms in this lake, uh, this is, without fish, you often get communities dominated by uh, fly larvae. I mean, it's not a fly, it's a midge called phantom midges. And they're called phantom midges because they're so hard to see in the water, very clear. Actually, you can see them on the, on the surface, on the surface of that sample. A couple that are floating. Got 2118. And they're predators, so they feed on the other zooplankton. But one of the first things you usually see when fish are introduced is they eat all those. And you can lose that population and change, that changes the whole food cycle. So basically all we're doing is vacuuming up zooplankton from zero to 23 meters. Trap, do the fish trapping in spring and fall, they, they're just packed with yeah, seed in there. Smaller ones are, whereas the larger ones are eating dragonfly larvae and things like that. The small fish 